Okay, welcome back, YouTubers. This is the Plan Hard Channel, and I'm Al, your host. People have been asking me, Al, what is that thing on top of your stove? Is that a heat exchanger? Well, yes, it is. It's a stainless steel heat exchanger made of rectangular tubing, one by two, and then the inside tubes are one inch square. Fluid runs through every one of the tubes that you see. Goes along these pipes and goes to uh, copper and goes down through the floor. This is my control box and you'll see what that does a little bit later. It's got uh, upper temperature, lower temperature and battery voltage. Now let's go downstairs and I'll show you what the rest is made up of. Okay, uh, the heat exchanger comes down from upstairs powered by this 12 volt um, circulation pump. It comes along these lines, goes all the way over in the corner to a school bus heater. Um, when the temperature in the line reaches 138 degrees, this switch here, which I bought from Summit Racing, and it's just a car electric fan uh, trigger switch. So, like I said, when the temperature gets 138 degrees, it comes on. When it drops 10 degrees to 128 degrees, it shuts that fan off. Uh, that fan cycles about every five minutes, so it keeps the basement pretty warm, which it wasn't last year. Uh, this is an uh, off-grid system. I have two batteries, two deep cycles. I have outside uh, 300 watts of solar panels. Uh, I have a solar controller. Uh, that handles that portion of it. At night, this um, charger comes on through a timer and charges the batteries back up. The system, as it comes back out of the school bus heater, comes back over and goes into a holding tank, which is nothing other than just a bucket that's insulated. It's got in and out valves. Um, oh, there goes the bus heater now. You can hear it running. Um, circulates the water back through the system and then it goes over and over and over again. This circulates 24-7 all through the winter. This runs day and night. The system is not a closed system, it's an open system. Meaning that there's no pressurization in the system. If it was pressurized and this pump happened to fail in the middle of the night, that could be an explosive problem. So I didn't want that. The system runs water in it. I run uh, distilled water, and a, a combination of distilled water and RV antifreeze. I feel that that's a whole lot easier to deal with than ethyl glycol. Next year I hope to uh, upgrade the system with lithium ion batteries. And I'm going to change this controller over to a 14 volt controller. This will only charge it up to 12.7 volts and I don't have much of a range to deal with um, with these deep cycles. So I need to get up to 14 volts. Um, anyhow, it keeps my basement really warm in the winter. And um, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and you can see some more stuff from this old weird past. Thanks for watching.